Travis Wingood, so the uh, meteor strike that happened this morning, in case you missed my video, seems nobody's interested, uh, is uh, from the Perseid meteor showers. Uh, it's gone national. ABC's covered it. NBC's now covered it with video. And so we'll use pictures from that. But uh, there's a sign in the heavens back to back here, guys. Yesterday I did the sign in the heaven for you, and today with the Perseid meteor showers hitting Utah. Not a coincidence. <coughs> Perseus is the son of Zeus, of the Greeks, and Danae, the female version of Dan. Thus, judge. The mother is a Danite. <laughs> uh, Esau, when he loses the birthright and blessing, goes and marries Judith, also the uh, mother of the would-be great and abominable church. I went over that when I did the Sunday school lessons for you guys earlier this year, before my internet gave out and went to Wi-Fi because of the attack that I've been under and am now here. Perseus is the Greek version of messianic literature. He's the hero story. And uh, then uh, the other woman that he rescues is a type and shadow of Zion. And so if you've seen Hercules, likewise. They're one and the same character, just different names and uh, different stories for each, but uh, you've probably seen the Disney version where he goes to the underworld to save uh, uh, Meg, I believe was her name, and uh, I'm sitting there in the theater crying because I know exactly what it means and my mom and my baby sister are also there with me and uh, <clears throat> and afterwards my mom was uh, not understanding any of the symbolic connections <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah it's also connected to uh, David King David David versus Goliath. Goliath representing the Great and Abominable Church and the president of the Great and Abominable Church who stands up against David. And David gets the two rocks, puts them in a sling, hurls them, hits them right in the seer stone eye, and, uh, and kills them and wins the battle like the Spartans do, which is where you can tell they got the story from it's not a real uh, it's not a real story it, not literal history it, it's messianic literature that of, of baby David <laughs> and so uh, that's what you're looking at here is you have yesterday Nelson the oldest living prophet now or the oldest living apostle now with Aquarius, the 12 stars of Aquarius for the 12 apostles, and the five falling stars for the inverted pentagram, and there the full super moon is with Saturn at the back end of the goat beast. And uh, so Joseph Smith translation, Revelation chapter 12, verse 1, fulfilled. And nobody cares? This is awesome, exciting stuff, guys, and you don't care? <laughs> it's like, I was your sun, your moon, your guiding star, and it went away? <laughs> Willow. I understand they're redoing that. You can't redo that. Sorsha it was too excellent of an actress. It had nothing to do with her red hair, of course. 
but uh, Mad Mordigan, he can't replace that movie. No, you gotta keep it as is. Like The Princess Bride, you can't redo The Princess Bride. You can't redo Willow. What are they thinking? But uh, I've got a 50 minute video that's saving at 61% now. And so you'll have to wait until that's done before this comes up. I'll do this earlier because this is obviously going to be quicker. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, two stones, rocks in a hat, Joseph Smith, catching on, Yerm and Thummim, Seer. Not a coincidence, guys. Not a coincidence.